Tangent is a weird and wonderful festival full of odd but amazing bands. I've been a few times and excited to head down again this year. I'm hoping the weather holds off so we have a nice weekend because Art Tangent is always known for the rain. I better put my wellies and my waterproof on just in case, but let's head to Art Tangent. Good morning, everyone. As you can probably hear, my voice isn't very great. Reason for that is, is because I got back from Bloodstock two days ago, and I'm still absolutely fucking knackered from it. Oh, God, like yesterday, I was, I was, I was, I was getting there to being like, am I going to be able to do Arc Tangent? But we are here. I'm feeling better today. My voice isn't, but my body is feeling a smidge better. So we're gonna definitely still well, we're definitely going to Art Tangent. Um, I've just gotten ready, I'm just about to leave. Um, I am going via Bristol to pick Will up. They are getting in about quarter to twelve on the coach, if no delays. I'm picking them up and then giving them a lift to and from Bristol because I drive through Bristol anyway and we're wanting to kind of get there about the same time. And then later on in today, I'm going to go meet Elliot um, when he gets the shuttle bus in and Elliot is camping with me. Will I don't think is because I think he's in a beach hut because he's lucky and got given a beach hut. But yeah, that's what's going on. We're off to Arc Tangent. Let's go. <laughs> I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't fully remember his last name. Park in there. Park you up awesome. In there, right? Awesome, thank you. Oh, was it in there, not the bar? Oh, we're not in the bar this year. Well, I'm, I'm actually disappointed. Well, that's the bar. But yeah. I'm, just, I'm, just I'm guessing we. Oh. I am disappointed. We're not in the bar this year. Oh, it's probably because they've moved press and stuff to. Well, they moved it last year and yeah. then realised they'd put it in the wrong fucking place because yeah. it was so loud. Yeah, it was so loud between the stages. Yeah, so they moved it yeah. again. Yeah. Because last year they went, yeah, just do all the interviews in the barn, and then this year they're not. Yeah. Right, let's see if I can get data up again. Let's see if I can get on the... <laughs> I'm on E. Oh, I'm on H, which is worse. Yeah. Right, I think what we'll do... But I have got a site map. I think what we'll do is we'll go get accredited first, and then... And then pitch up. Yeah, because... That makes sense to me. Yeah. 
that's what I normally do because I'm like I don't know where we're going especially if we're in a different place this year and we're not in the barn <laughs> I'm gonna complain if we park like right the other side of this <laughs> see why do they get to park their cars next to their tents <laughs> <laughs> Right, we've made it to Uncle Tangent. I have Will here. Um, he's not with DS this year, he's with Noise and is it Hammer? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go get accredited first and then we're going to then do a pottering along to get all of our shit. Well, I say all of our shit, most of it's mine. Will has two bags and he's staying in a beach hut because I'm not privileged enough to get a fucking beach hut. <laughs> Give it a few years when I have like like tens of thousands of subscribers and then I'll get a fucking beach hut. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna go do that. And yeah, oh, feels good to be back on the farm again. Oh, hopefully we'll see the doggies. I hope the pigs are out. It's staying there. Huh? I'm staying there. I'm not, I'm not like <laughs> oh yeah, you'll <laughs> be. Just make sure you don't pass out in, in the pig, in the actual pig barn. Yeah, that's quite alright. <laughs> well, I thought it would be in there. I'm guessing that's like crew and oh, that's must be catering. Catering. Uh, all right, press contractors and general guest list. Yeah, boy. So we're exhausted. Okay, my last years, and I'm turning off my mic. Sorry, guys. I'm press this year. Oh, <laughs> oh very nice. Honey, I'm home. I know. Oh. Time to set up the tent again. At least it is a nice day. Stage one of getting ready is complete. My tent is up again. Um, I've also just done a run to get my bedding and everything, which I'm gonna have a break, have a drink and, a, and stuff and chill. And then I think I've got to go at least two more trips. Also I've got to get the gazebo out because it's hot and I want to make sure that I am shaded from the sun. But yeah, we're getting there, I'm getting there. I've got time today. Today is a day off. Eee. Slowly getting there. Right, everything has got from the car and we're now putting up the gazebo because it is hot and it's gonna rain, so we need some shelter and shade. So we're just doing that now. Here he is. Will is, Will is helping me, Will is being, and um, we just sorted out all the poles and everything, so we're gonna get the gazebo. Right. Let's see if Elliot's messaged me. But we are set up, we have a gazebo. A bit of time, all right. I need a wee before I do anything else. I need to wee, but fucking gazebo. I should have put it close to my tent, but we have a gazebo, which is the main thing. So, yeah, I'm gonna go wee and then uh, I don't know. I think one of my favorite things about Art Tangent is the fact, like, just how chill, like, the media, band, guess this, whatever area, camping area I'm in. Like, I'm just proper, like, feel relaxed now. As I said, I'm taking a day off today. I'm gonna be vlogging, but I'm gonna take a day off and not do too much, because I need to chill. <laughs> but Elliot's gonna be here soon, so I'm gonna go head up and see Elliot, go meet him so I can bring him back here, so he can get set up. And also we've got an air pump, so I can pump up my fucking air bed. And then get properly finished getting set up. Right, I'm gonna head off to find the shuttle bus drop off and meet up with Elliot. Elliot apparently is still too, only two minutes away, but it'll give me time to go have a look and see where the press room is as well. And, you know, just mosey around, basically. Like, it's gonna take me a little bit to walk up anyway, so. <sighs> but yeah, we are gonna go do that. Through there is general camping. Seems to be setting up nicely, but and this way used to be where the old entrance to the arena used to be from this area. So yeah. Ooh. it's really not the far oh, there is a cut through as well actually. It's just like down there. Come the slightly longer way, but I think I'll come take Heavy back for the cut through. But so one thing I like about Art Tangent is literally we're just kind of chilling out down a field near like 
where like the farmhouses are and stuff. And you just kind of have a casual walk through the field. Up to the uh, main area. Like this field used to be where the camps where the camper vans were, but they're not here this year. We're in a different field. But Ooh, maybe the piggies are over there. The pigs aren't where they were last year, so I want to go find the pigs. Because what's better than having loads of animals at a festival? All right, I just had a little quick find of the press area. There's no Wi-Fi at the minute, but that's all right. Um, but yeah, I'm now going to go find Elliot without any signal. So I need to go find out where the uh, shuttle bus drops off, and then. Do that. Uh, but yeah, it's really fucking nice though, so I'm gonna enjoy the weather and chill. Might even have a couple bevs later because I've still got some alcohol left from my previous buying at the beginning of the festival season. So, but yeah, go find Elliot and get him all set up. So, really happy. Really, really happy. All right, I made it to this shuttle bus drop-off point. So I've just got to wait for the bus. And eventually none of you guys here. And I've run out of drinks, so I'm going to go put this actually I think, in the bin, because it's a bin. But yeah. Oh, I've just got to wait for Elliot now. Ugh. Problem is, we've got no signal, so... <sighs> but it should have been about 20-ish minutes since he messaged me, so it's 20 minutes away. <sighs> so I'm like it's far back to my tent. I need to get food as well, I need to make food. <laughs> Approximately ten hours later. Alright, a bus has arrived and I think I see Elliot, I think. Yeah, I see Elliot. <sighs> I actually missed you so much. Oh, I am doing very well. Good. How are you, beautiful? Right, I'm good. I'm all set up. So get your shit. Let's get you over to press. I'm loving that choker. Thank you. Everyone's doing yeah. That's a really nice choker. Where is Gongo going with it? <laughs> I didn't have my normal one I wear, so I just grabbed one out of my drawer. Saw with you to the bar. Yeah, so he's he's working stage crew. Hi. Hi uh, Sam here's working pre uh, bar staff, so they're coming uh, with the oh, same are accreditation. Oh, we all going accreditation yeah. down in the bar. This is Serena. Serena. Hi. Is top. Hi. Serena. No, no, no. Hi. Serena. Who are you here for? Myself. For my YouTube channel. Of course, you just yeah. you just applied for press and they gave it yeah, to you. Yeah, it's my YouTube channel. <laughs> nice. I'm basically oh. just here to vlog. <laughs> you know, the no, easy I was shit. Walking. I was literally just going. <laughs> right. I'll tell you what. Are I'm you all coming down this other bar, then? So, yeah. I'll tell you yeah. what, I've had a great journey here. Oh, that's good. I, I got to, onto Birmingham New Street Station, and a friend of mine I know from Bristol was there. So I spent the time, hello, by the way. <laughs> um, it's me again. I'm part of Serena's <laughs> vlog once more. Yeah, you're part of my vlog this year. This is going to be fun. I'm yeah, really, you're going to be I was, yeah, I put my tent up on my own. You can put your own fucking tent up yeah, on your own. Be a strong man. Man, yes, strong, debatable. <laughs> yeah, I'll get, I'll get my table on my chair out. Oh, look at that, that's so cute. Yeah! Lovely silver wrist. So happy about that, Alan, for us. Like, I am uh, everything to survive the duct tape. Yes, so there you oh, go. Actually, that's the point. Duct tape stayed, the toilet roll stayed. Amazing. Right. Yeah, no, that's all right. Oh, there's Harrison, I think. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Here is how to put up a tent badly. <laughs> I put it up at download on my own. I'm going to put it up here on my own as well. <laughs> it's all going to be fine. I hope. Hopefully. Nah, it'll be alright. Yeah. Well, I managed to put my tent up on my own. The best thing is, is that when I, when I was putting it down from download, I was looking at the instructions. They were like, "You can keep the inner section in the tent," and I was like, "Good, that saves me one little bit." Yeah. So just been chilling out, Harrison came and joined us and yeah, just been chilling out, getting a little social group to come to the gazebo for socials 
Elliot's all set up, he's just chatting with other people, and we're gonna probably head up in a little bit to go watch people slice up. Ooh, I need my fucking earplugs. <sighs> The one thing I need is fucking airport. Ooh. Just everything falls out. There we go. Airplugs. Airplugs. Ugh, that's what I'm not in the morning. Basically got everything sorted, ready for sleep tonight. I'm not going to be doing sun disco at all, like, this whole fucking weekend, so I'm going to just basically just chill. Like, I am feeling a lot better now that I've just been kind of relaxing and catching my breath after bloodstock. So I'm going to go for a wander soon to catch people size in June and then conjurer. We're heading up to the arena now to go catch Pupil Slither mm -hmm. and then Dune or Devoon. Devine. Devine. And then uh, Kandra. And then Scalping. I'm probably going to go after Kandra. Yeah, fair. And then go to bed. Well, I'll probably not go to bed, just come sit on my own. <laughs> sit on my phone because I have the Wi Fi. I mean, I'll probably go up and catch Pupil Slicer and then five minutes from the end go and get my silent disco headphones or something. And yeah, I'm not something. doing silent disco at all this year. Because I'm just going to go to bed. Because <laughs> I'm old. Oh, let's go see the piggies. Piggies are out. Are they still? Yeah, there's one over there. Go see the pigs. Oh, up there. Yeah. Sorry, I was looking at the... I was looking yeah, at the... no, there, I think the other ones are out as well. All right, side track to go see the pigs. Oh, they are. I can see yeah! them. Yeah! Oh, pigs! Pigs! I hope pigs, 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 pigs get a photo with the pigs, 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 pigs. <laughs> it's like, why is everyone getting sidetracked? Pigs! For anybody, I, I'm hoping that they get asked that question a bunch. <laughs> Have you yeah, seen I'm the pigs? Yeah, I'm... Oh, look at them. Hello! Hello. Do you want to be in my vlog, mate? Hello. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Aren't you adorable? They're the best animals. <laughs> in the world. I won't hear otherwise. Yeah. Then there's two. Oh, it's the one with the big balls over there. Uh, yeah. The Do you see the big balls? There, the ball. Oh yeah, the balls over there. Yeah, <laughs> the big balls. Hello. After getting distracted by the pigs, the pigs, 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 pigs. <laughs> we are back at the arena. It's only like oh, a no, five, ten know. minute walk anyway, so we're not far, but yeah, we're gonna go in and catch people flather. Wait for me, I'm a plodder. You've okay. got little legs. I've got little legs. Aye. But yeah, we're gonna go do that. I might get some food as well. That's fine, I'm going straight in, but. Yeah, I think I might get some food and just chill at the edges, you know. Oh, do you wanna see where the press room is? I will do after pupil size. Um, five minutes. Yeah. Just there, isn't it? Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what. Once after pupil size, I'll show you where it is. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Let's see how my seventeen pound pizza is so much money. Luckily I'm not only buy very little this weekend. The pizza was nice. Wouldn't have paid £17 for it though. But it has filled me up so I'm doing that. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I've seen Elliot and he's currently watching People Slicer. I think I'm probably gonna go and watch for more People Slicer. I think. Yeah. The back of my neck is currently burning so I really need to get out of the sun. And me being the responsible adult I am, I haven't put any sun cream on. I can fucking hear Elliot before we fucking see him. Uh, it's very, uh, I, the irony is I must have been like, come back two weeks after. Yeah, good one. Um, which is good to run back to the tent and try and not miss any bands. So. I can hear you before I see you. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> That's um, yeah, fair enough. I, I'm going to go get it's food. It's like, where is Elliot? A bit of dune. Devin. Yeah, Devin. Devin. and then go and watch Conjurer. And... Oh, I doubt we'll be bumping to you for longer soon. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Minimum, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Devon. Yeah, this year came out and I was like, I hear Elliot. Ears were like, where is he? Yeah, it was it was a case I got on my headphones and then Andy and I thought I'd Yeah. Are you gonna get do you wanna get your cup first? No, I'm gonna go and get food. Alright. I'm gonna go get a spot for Devon. Yeah, you do what you need to, lovely. Alright. Two minutes of conjurer. I've seen him before, and because I'm too fucking tired, and I want to go to bed. Well, I'm probably gonna chill and stuff back at camp, but pretty much just gonna wander back. So I'm back at the tent now, and. I'm not gonna lie, I'm fucking knackered. I'm gonna take a clip out. Um, so, I'm probably just gonna chill for a bit. See how tired I get. I need to cook boil water to make my hot water bottle. I'm not very hungry because I did eat quite a lot. So, I'm kind of just probably just gonna chill and stuff now and go and go to bed because I'm just, yeah, fucking tired. So, I will see you guys. Oh, you can see the shitty with me. Camera. Um, I'll just see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Um, I've woken up in Silent Hill. That's it. So they're clearly in the toilets because I can smell it. Yeah. Not really a nice smell. Time to have some breakfast. Like, not really much is going on at the minute, so better eat and kind of start getting ready. So I went back to lie in bed for a bit because it was a bit colder out here and it was warmer in my tent. It's been chilling, I need to start getting ready in a bit. Um, but yeah, I think currently I can hear a lot of sheep, which is so weird. You know, sat at a festival, hearing sheep barring away. Don't know if you can hear them. Right, I've got ready. I am sparkly in purple today. Um, I haven't done my makeup yet. I'm just going to have my vitamins. And then I'm going to start doing my makeup and slowly, slowly getting ready. I do need to film content. Um, there's some stuff I want to film for next year, but I haven't... I think I might do it on Saturday. Um, instead, just seemed a bit awkward. So, but yeah, I'm gonna get ready and then I'm gonna get, try and sort out what gear I'm gonna take up. And then, yeah, I need to get an outfit post today because I look cute. So, that is what's going on. progressed back into the tent because uh, it's a bit windy out there um, so I'm going to do my makeup and get that all done now like I need a fucking piss again but it's not even midday yet and my first band isn't until like 25 past 3 so I have lots of time I need all fucking windy again <sighs> my bladder what the fuck is wrong with my bladder but yeah we're gonna start doing that, and um, yeah, we just yeah, basically that's, that's what's going on. We're just gonna get ready because everyone else has gone up to like the arena and stuff, so I'm kind of on my own. But I do need to go up to the arena and do some photos and stuff, so I need to get my gear ready 
swap over to my camera bag so I can take that with me and go and take some photos. And I'm ready right now. I'm feeling very glamorous. But I've got all my stuff ready and I think I'm gonna head up to the arena soon. Time is actually. It's almost one o'clock, so you know, quite a bit of time. But yeah. And just for reference, this is my outfit. Right, time to head up to the arena and do some work. Oh, it is not fun carrying this way on my life. Again. <sighs> we'll get there though. Hopefully, I'll run into people when I'm up at the arena. Like, I'm not going to be doing anything really till Svalbard, as in like watching bands. So. Oh. We'll get there, we'll get there. So I've made it up to the press tent and I've found Elliot. Hello, sorry. <laughs> Hope you're all doing well out there. Completely ignoring me. I'm not yeah. trying to ignore you. <laughs> but yeah, we're just going to take some photos um, and then I'm going to sit and edit them. That's basically what I'm going to do here. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm going to go and take photos and then we're going to edit them straight away. Yeah, so we're going to go do that now. Right, I need to go find some food. So I'm not feeling great. So I'm thinking food. everything for the rest of the day so I'm gonna swap over to my other bag means I can carry less but also I'm not feeling great um, my stomach hasn't been right since bloodstock like it's actually quite hurting and I'm so fucking bloated I'm not sure what's wrong I'm not sure it's just IBS things or something else so and it's also making me very tired so I'm gonna go for a nap or I say nap I mean just me lie down I don't normally feel like this bad, but my stomach is fucking killing me. So, rest. Two hours later. So, I can't remember what I said last. I had a two hour nap. Uh, Elliot came back when I was about to go and sit outside. We had like a chat and a proper catch up and everything. And yeah, it's been good. I think I severely underestimated how socially drained I am. And just like I'm really not feeling it basically at the minute and so I don't really know what I'm gonna do like <clears throat> I have my schedule of bands like Brutus are on in a little bit but I might just chill and head up for like pigs time seven later I don't know I'm just like my stomach's not feeling great so I'm not feeling like I'm just feeling really tired so Welcome to a very boring vlog of me sat in my tent. I'm putting on a movie so I can chill and like decompress and stuff. So yeah, this is fun. What festivals are all about. It, it, it's getting dark in here. So I finished watching Beauty and the Beast. It's good. You know, my own little cinema in my tent. I'm still not feeling great. I'm still feeling very, like, meh. And just not really kind of very sociable. 
I do want to go up and watch Pigs Time 7 and Converge. But also as well as I also need to make sure that I'm going to be okay for the rest of the weekend. So I'm kind of in a little bit of a dilemma. It's like, do I go up for like an hour to go watch a couple bands? Or do I stay in the tent and just chill and watch movies? And kind of like have a proper, you know, recharge. So I'm kind of not really sure what's going to happen. Um, but pretty much I'm just going to update you guys when I kind of decided. Also, it's getting colder out there and it's meant to rain tonight, so I want to get my hot water bottle made so that I can be warm, basically. I made a decision. As you can tell by my own face, I've decided to stay in my tent. I do feel guilty. I feel bad because I'm meant to be making a vlog, but I just, I f I just feel terrible. My just don't feel like socialising, I don't want to be around people and I know it's because Bloodstock's caught up with me and stuff so I'm going to stay in, I'm going to chill, watch some movies and you know have a bit of a comfort evening and then I should hopefully be alright for the last two days so I am going to sign off now and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning everyone, so I slept for about 10 hours not solidly, but I've slept for 10 hours. <coughs> I'm currently just kind of chilling, trying to decide what to do. Um, Kaluga's horse run at 20 past one and I would like to go catch them. So I think I'm going to start kind of getting ready basically. And then probably head up for them. So it's kind of just a chill one over, you know, the day. And then just bam, 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 bam this evening. And I hope you take more photos as well. Feeling a little better after my sleep. And yeah, it's kind of what's it's, 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 it's the vibe at the minute. You all right, Elliot? Oh yeah, I'm fine. I'm just having I'm just having short problems. Short problems. Yes. Do you mean like the clothing item short or being short? Oh, the clothing item. Oh, okay. I was like, you're not that short. So I'm awake now. Um, Elliot's up, he's already gone to see Kirstie's metal hands. Um, I'm gonna head up to the arena for Kaluga's horse, I've decided. Um, so I'm just getting kind of ready now. I'm not gonna do my makeup yet. Um, so I'm gonna go up to the arena, watch Kaluga's horse, come back, do my makeup, then go kind of do photos and stuff. Obviously go check out my Instagram and TikTok for stuff. Um, and then, um, and then I'm pretty busy like in the evening, so, I'm gonna go watch one band, do some like worky stuff, and then kind of probably just chill and see what's see what's crack lacking. I'm charging up my tablet at the minute because I might want to watch a movie later. Um, but I'm really looking forward to the headline. I call them Hooliog, but they're not that. It's something else, and I can never pronounce it. Um, I'm looking forward to them because I heard it's like folk metal and really good. So I really want to actually catch the headline tonight. I am feeling a lot better than I did yesterday. I haven't eaten yet, but I'm gonna try and eat, at least have some cereal to get some energy in um, before I head up for Kalu's horse. So we're gonna hopefully have a better, more productive day than yesterday, but I really need that sleep. Like the post I saw Blue's hit on me hard. Like I was feeling so like lonely and shit like that. So yeah, so had a proper rest and then now it's just kind of like you know have a, a good weekend the next couple days which i'm looking forward to it is a lot colder today so i'm gonna wear a jumper <laughs> um i think it is meant to rain today but i don't know we'll work this out um and hopefully i'll run into people because there's definitely people i haven't run into and i really am hoping i run into people because i want to see my friends i will say this is probably one of my favourite breakfasts to have. So, cereal in a bowl. And then these little Alpro chocolates. And then you just pour. And no, no mess, no fuss. Like, wee. And because you don't need to like kind of cook anything, or refrigerate anything, it's just great fucking breakfast to start the day. Especially if you're in like a festival where like, you know, you're not too far from the car.
just had a quick look at the weather and it's not going to rain till five which means i've got time to watch to do everything i need to do before it rains at least it gives me a deadline to do everything um and yeah and then it's raining so but i think it's meant to only rain today ish so uh, that's one good thing that art tangent have done actually is because it always fucking rains everything's intense so you just gotta kind of get in the tent and then tomorrow is like kind of cloud and sun so yeah today's the only day of rain not as bad as 2019 but yeah <sighs> we're doing well um i'm just i need to go for a wee and then we're gonna head up right got to the arena ready for Kaluga's horse it's quite warm actually <laughs> so whew. Also, my friend Alex is here, who I haven't seen since last year's art tension. So, we had a massive hug, and he almost made me pass out from hugging me so hard. Uh, but I'm just heading back to camp now because I'm going to do my makeup and then come into the field to do some photos because I need to get that done before I do anything else. But yeah, we are potting along, and then I've really got meeting point for sick um later so we're doing well and hopefully run into people again and i'm not gonna lie it's fucking humid today like it was really cold earlier and suddenly wore a jumper because i was like oh i'm gonna be cold nope really fucking hot so <laughs> this is great but yeah we're gonna go do some photos and get that out of the way basically right back in tent let's just try to de-sweat myself and then we're gonna start getting my makeup on and then I've got to carry all my stuff over not that far only to the field so I can get some nice photos so yeah let's cut to me doing my makeup with my makeup done now that's good Elliot's in my turn I don't think you caught my head there for a moment there that's there better hello, hello. Um, we're just chilling, Elliot's chilling before he goes to see some more burns and burns. I'm just gonna go do some photography. Burns. 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 But yeah, I'm all ready, I'm just gotta do my lipstick, I look pretty again. She always looks pretty. I wasn't expecting you to say anything but... You, no, you bullshit, you just looked at me. <laughs> I could see out the corner of my eye the look of someone <laughs> going, now it's your turn to say something. <laughs> No. Do not do that gesture at me. That is very rude. <laughs> you do it back and you know it. And you know I can get away with it. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
Finish getting ready. These metal hands are 10 out of 10. Serena's 11 out of 10. I know. I'm, I'm the highlight of the... did not pay me to say that in any way, shape or form. <laughs> I really didn't. No. I, I am the highlight of the whole festival, though. <laughs> like, you know, screw Devon Townsend, screw Highlight, screw Converge. I'm the fucking headliner. Bitch. <laughs> I'm really fucking fucked. <laughs> You see I, that, I don't like, have any one-liners ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not an influencer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Seriously, good boxes. Yeah. Oh, pigs. Right, the pigs are out. That's so what I meant. So we're going to go get the pigs, photo of Elliot with the pigs, and then I'm going to take some photos, not with the pigs, but we're going to go have a look at the pigs. We're going to go have a look. Pigs, 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 pigs. <laughs> I love pigs. They are I, I am so happy to have such is, a I, 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 want, I want there to be pigs in your review to so, say oh, that oh, you no, met the fucking oh, pigs. No, oh no, there's going to be something about, there is something beautiful about waking up to the sheep and having pictures of pigs. <laughs> like, I am so happy that my favourite animal is something so beautiful and intelligent. Yeah, we well, can keep them as a fucking pet, like a dog. Yeah, I follow a TikTok, I follow a TikTok star called um, Olivia. Uh, I know, it's not, her name's Jess, she goes by Olivia Van Fox, though. And she has a couple of pigs. One of them yeah. is called Mr. Pig. Hello! Someone's having a lovely little scratch. Oh, hello! Hello! So, Look, there's uh, Ellie with the pigs! Pigs are my favourite animal of all time. I grew up on a pig <laughs> farm for eight Aww. years. I have all the time in the world for them. They are the absolute best animals. No. Um, and I will never not love a pig. And, oink, they're also oink, very, they're all, and they are also very tasty. Yes. Hello! <laughs> oh, you always have to come and see the pigs. <laughs> Hello. Scratchy, 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 scratchy. Pork scratchings. <laughs> Finished taking some photos of myself. Got my outfit post. Um, yeah, we're just going to now go back to my tent and do some editing. And because I have Wi-Fi down at the barn, I can just upload stuff down there. I've also got to do my TikTok as well, actually. Uh, I'll do that back at the camp, which really isn't far. But yeah. And then I'm going to make some food as well. No one will eat. Dirty fries place and get some bean and cheese chips because it's eight quid and it's nice. And then I think I'm gonna go to press and see if I can just sit and get a TikTok uploaded. Um, yeah. So I went to press to eat my food and take drugs. Ibuprofen, not really, not the illegal kind. Uh, so I could get rid of my headache and stuff. Um, now I'm gonna just wander over and probably just watch like Helpless in the PX3 stage, I don't know who they are, but I want to go find Tech Fam. And then, got sick for Yokai, and then go off to Hulung, Hulug, I don't know if you Chronic 
great. Just been chilling in press, having a sit down, trying to recharge, having a chat with journalists. Some of the guys have gone from slaves, and we're going to go off to sick. And we're going to go have fun. Lung. Oh, there's a moth in here. Um, hmm. Right. Yeah, I left uh, High Lung. They were really fucking good. Really, really impressed with them. I can't believe how much makeup's gone over. Um, and it just started pissing it down, so I had to walk back in the rain. I am now soaked. But luckily I could go get hot water from the barn. So yeah, god I look fucking terrible. <laughs> um I'm now soaked, so I now need to dry off. I need my wet clothes in at least some sort of pile so they are together and then yeah. Sort of shit out in the morning basically and dry stuff off. It's not meant to rain tomorrow, it's just meant to be tonight. But it's been the worst that it has been all day. So I'm gonna get ready for bed and I'll see you guys in the morning. Oh, I've just woken up. It's like 20 past 6 in the morning. I need a wee. And I need to show you guys how, like, windy it was last night. That is my tank collapsed. So, what was quite funny, it was very windy last night. And I went around to check my guide routes, my front, like, two guide routes. They were, they were loose. Like, they were just really slack, and I was like, oh, no, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. Yeah, it's not fine. So, this is fun. But yeah, I'm going to go for a wee. And, uh, I'll get back to bed. Right, I'm actually awake now. Um, after my tent collapsed. Um, I've just got some breakfast on the go. And I'm... Um, and I am attempting to, oh. and I'm just about to have breakfast, I'm gonna watch a movie while I watch breakfast. And then I'm probably gonna start getting ready. I'm also going to um, start doing some packing up. Um, and getting kind of stuff all packed up ready that I can, so like my food and my suitcase and stuff, uh, ready for tomorrow. Um, and then I can just, because tomorrow morning I'll go get the car and then I'll drive the car around so that I can just shove everything in the car basically. Um gonna get all my well, I'm gonna do some photos I'm gonna go when I'm ready, I'm gonna do my photos. So yeah, that's what's going on. Pretty again, pretty chill, slow day. Which is for me what tangent is. Right, the day has started. 
I am heading up to the arena. My eyes are already watering, so my makeup's going everywhere. But I've already taken my photos and stuff, so we are heading up now. I'm gonna go sit in the press, do some work, and then oh, maybe go watch some bands. Not really. And there's a big black cow coming, and I hope it doesn't rain while I'm walking up. But we shall see. I decided to opt for wellies. I shot my photos of my dogs, but I was like, I'm going to opt for wellies instead today. Just in case. Oh, almost at the area. Basically, if I run out of my dress and stuff, I'm just going to pop up to the tent. Right, heading over to Ruth Massey. Did a bit of work in the press area and just chilling. And yeah, going to go cause start the van, Steve. <laughs> watch the world is a beautiful place and I am no longer afraid to die. <sighs> See what they are like. So I'm looking at the back. Just waiting for the secret set, which is definitely not the ocean. Wait. 
guys it is sunday and i'm all packed up all packed up we're all ready to go home and i cannot wait for my bed <sighs> let's go home <laughs> This year was hard for Arctangent. I was so burnt out from photographing two festivals previously and I was just ill from chronic illness. I really didn't utilise the weekend as much as I felt I could. I spent it alone in my tent a lot of the time because that's pretty much all I could manage. When I did venture up to the arena I felt so tired and I really struggled to be in crowds and focus on watching the bands. Without my body working against me though I did have a fun time. I saw some great bands that I'd either wanted to check out or get a proper chance to watch from a punter perspective rather than a photographer one. It was also nice to see pals and chat a bit more with them. I also got to know some other people I've briefly met at festivals but actually had a chance to go and chat with them at Art Tangent. I think next year I'm going to need to pace myself more so this doesn't happen again. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!